horizontal skyscraper. This is not the name of a particular building. It is an architectural term applicable to the high-rise buildings that have the horizontal structure on top. At least 12 different horizontal skyscrapers can be found all over the world. Today we'd like to talk about the most remarkable of them, the entertainment shopping and residential complex of Raffles City in the Chinese city of Chongqing designed by Israeli-Canadian architects Moshe Safdeh comprises of a total of eight buildings, with a total area of 817,000 square meters. But the most amazing parts of course is Crystal, a huge horizontal sky bridge connecting the tops of four skyscrapers. It is about 30 meters wide and about 22 meters tall. It consists of a total of 3,000 glass panels and 5,000 million dollars panels. Crystal has a length of 300 meters and is located at a height of 250 meters. It has a swimming pool and observation day hanging in circle restaurants offers stunning views of one of the largest Chinese cities. The cost of the whole project is estimated at $4.8 trillion. Construction began in 2012, and was completed in August 2019. Today it's among the most expensive filters in China. For viewers are already aware of the rapidly developing wind energy industry, all over the world special turbines are being installed on hilltops and in open areas, they convert wind energy into electricity, which is then supplied to the surrounding area. However, the most effective way to convert wind energy is sting generators not on high ground. But in water is really strong. The cost of building an offshore wind farm exceeds the cost of a land-based station, there are more and more than a world every year. This video shows for example parts of the building process of the German Major Heights. It is located in Germany, on the north coast. The structure is 130 kilometers away from the shore, it's worth noting that any construction in BC is a very complicated process. Here the workers had to work with giant structures. Despite this, the whole process was completed in 23 months, the specialists managed to finish the construction four months earlier schedule. The cost of the construction is estimated at almost a billion euros. There are 67 turbines located on a 51 square kilometer port. The energy they generates is enough for 400,000 households. Underground drilling Any large-scale construction projects that are more complex than usual deserve attention, and usually attract public interest. This video shows the construction of a high-speed railway underground tunnel in China. The main challenge as you can easily guess is the huge size of the tunnel. The construction involves the use of a large number of specialized equipment rigs are literally biting into the ground. The soil is then collected and brought to the surface. At the same time the builders have to reinforce the structure as there are tens or even hundreds of meters of soil above the tunnels. What you see now on your screen is a wonder of underground architecture. That's why China has the world's largest network of high-speed railways. To find the difficulties, this project was realized in less than 10 years, more than 10,000 kilometers of tunnels were laid in 6 to 7 years or over, it costs less than similar projects in other countries. So. If we're going to talk about underground work we must show you the world's largest drilling machine. A giant tunnel boring machine was built by the Japanese corporation potentially Ozo specifically to build a car for. It's 99 meters long for the drilling diameter of 70 meters, and its weight is hard to imagine, 6100 tons dot in order to work with different types of soil.
The machine is equipped with 260 cutters. Most this isn't the most amazing surfer has a capacity of 25,000 horsepower. This allows you to drill a tunnel incredible speed of 10 meters per day is only one problem. Most of these components are not reusable. In April 2017, after completing this task, it was dismantled. The next amazing solution in the building sector is the project of American entrepreneur Elon Musk. In 2013, he suggested a more efficient and faster way to move from one point to another by train. Its implementation is a more difficult task than it might seem at first, but the work is already underway. So, what is Hyperloop? It's a high-speed transport system with vacuum trains that can reach speeds of up to 1,200 km per hour. The whole structure looks like a tunnel mountain above the ground or high support won't bore you with the complex details of exactly how the train but let's just say that specialists use magnetic levitation, as well as linear induction motors for acceleration and braking. If everything goes well, the first passenger line will be open in 2022, the whole project will be implemented by 2039. But of course, the timeline may well change. Intercontinental Shanghai Wonderland now you're looking at a remarkable five-star hotel filled in an abandoned industrial quarry. He used to be a coal mining so during World War 240,000, the quarry had closed for several years it was an unremarkable hole in the ground. But then architects Martin and Jocelyn have you ever dared building a luxury hotel inside? Today it's a futuristic looking 18-story hotels, which offers climbing as well as all standard entertainment. The building is 15 kilometers from the center of Shanghai, there are only two other floors above the ground level, the rest of the building is located at a depth of 88 meters. Underground drilling Any large-scale construction projects that are more complex than usual deserve attention, and usually attract public interest. This video shows the construction of a high-speed railway underground tunnel in China. The main challenge as you can easily guess is the huge size of the tunnel. The construction involves the use of a large number of specialized equipment rigs are literally biting into the ground. The soil is then collected and brought to the surface. Transporting Heavy Equipment Finally, We'll show you how builders sometimes transport heavy equipment. A concrete mixer is a cumbersome special purpose vehicle, which can weigh up to several dozen times. It's not always possible to move these vehicles around construction size. That is why they are moved by air using particularly large cranes. Here, the concrete mixer is not just the move from place to place, it was lowered into a vertical shaft.